vanished people from thousands of years ago are now reviving as descendants of the lost tribes of Israel. In every corner of the world, in countries that you wouldn't imagine, uh, Afghanistan, Iraq. We see Jews in Brazil and in Peru. They came here from China. A prophesied drama with thousands of lives in danger. Do you think something bad can happen to the Jewish community in Iran? Yeah. Their rescue is now urgent, with many trapped deep inside hostile lands. Of a secret operation that is going into effect even as I speak. It's so sensitive that I, I can't talk about it. Their return to the land of Israel signals the beginning of the end of days, vision of the prophets. I tell you the temple is soon to be rebuilt. Maybe tomorrow we shall awake and we shall see the great revolution. Thousands of years ago, actually in 722 before the Common Era, Assyria destroyed the Jewish people in Palestine, in Israel, and exiled 10 of the tribes of Israel to the four corners of the world. These 10 tribes soon became called the Lost Tribes because we have not been able to track what happened to them. So many years we looked after them, where are they? 2,700 years ago, they were taken from here. They were lost. And suddenly we started to hear from the 10 tribes. It is not an accident when one day people hear the voice of God and they leave their countries from the far east, from the west, from the north, from the south. On Wings of Eagles is discovering the lost tribes of Israel. After thousands of years of being away from their brethren, we today bring them home to the land of Israel. Unto Abraham's land he will draw us as a shepherd gathers his sheep. The job is just beginning for us. A whole new chapter is developing almost daily, almost uh, a, a, by the hour we're finding Jews. That is a real miracle. It's God himself is acting in this exciting and critical end times, not only in Israel, but all over the world. He speaks to the hearts of Christians mainly and awake them to stand with Israel, to love his people. Every time I take one of these freedom flights with these immigrants and my heart soars in seeing the future of Israel here, my heart cries for those who are still left behind. This is the last stage where they say goodbye to their family, where they say goodbye to their friends. It's a very, very difficult scene to watch as they say goodbye. She's saying goodbye to her family. That's making it on this plane this evening. And she's not. She's waiting. She is still awaiting for her turn. Many of them are hurting. Many of them today are in pain. You can make the difference. You can bring a miracle to their lives. The little bit that you can do or the great amount that you can do can profoundly make a difference. This ministry of the fellowship that we began with the fall of communism in 1990 has brought over 300,000 Jews from the former Soviet Union, what the Bible refers to as the land of the north, to Israel, from various Arab lands, and from different countries around the world. And this miracle and fulfillment of prophecy was made possible by Christians 
he says, in the last days I will bring back my people from the east, the west, the north, and the south. And in another passage, he says, through the abundance of the Gentiles will the Jews be blessed in the last days. So it's not only a blessing, it's an honor and a privilege. Just as God blessed them when they were in Egypt and kept them, uh, He has sovereignly planted them back here in their homeland, and uh, He will not break His covenant with them. The tribes of Israel lost thousands of years ago until the time of the Messiah. Today, they are being rediscovered and brought to the Holy Land, and you can be a part of that fulfillment of prophecy.